Kayla, please like and subscribe. All right. So today's video. What's that? No, go ahead. Oh, sorry, okay. it's clearing my throat. Oh, okay. Our banking system, the U.S. Mm. banking system. <laughs> do we really know where the money comes from? Where do you think it comes no. from? Is it the All government? I'm going to say is the math doesn't math. No, it does not math. Are you trying to get us kicked off or? No, I just, well, okay. this is educational. <laughs> this, is, this is for educational purposes okay. only. I, I don't know. I, is it the, tr the U.S. Treasury or is it somewhere else or mm -hmm. where does it come from? Like, really? Mm -hmm. I, don't know. I know where it used to come from, but I don't think that's the same anymore. Yeah, like how does it really work? The Treasury Department, which is a private entity, according to J. Pup James. You mean it's not yep, part of the knows. government? Hmm. Well, mm -hmm. I got the video. Got? Got a video. Right. Here's a video. Let's watch this video. Before his death, President John F. Kennedy signed an executive order which was designed to strip away the power of the Federal Reserve. Kennedy was the last president who ever challenged the power of that Federal Reserve. One of the very first things Lyndon B. Johnson did when he assumed the office of presidency was reverse President John F. Kennedy's executive order, ensuring the Federal Reserve maintained its power over the American dollar. Now, the American financial system is designed with intricate policies and complicated language. It's designed that way to ensure the average American citizen doesn't develop a well enough understanding of it to better use it for their advantage. However, this animation does a fantastic job of simplistically breaking down the complicated structure of the American financial system and gives us an amazing representation of just what the Federal Reserve actually does. Check this out. Exhibit A, those who have come to deposit and safely store their earned monies. Exhibit B, those who need to borrow said money for purposes unknown hey that's me exhibit c the bank only has so much money in the vault to lend out to people such as you by the time he got to you pile his bank was out of money but he gave me lots of money and charged me a lot of interest yes that's the only way banks make money by making debt loans debt equals money pile remember that debt equals money the more loans they make the more money they make but if they don't have any money, then where did my money come from? You're going to want to take a step back. Well, no way. Wait a second, Harmon. I, I just thought of something. Then where does the Federal Reserve get their money? Say, Hartman, no one is allowed inside the Fed. Not you, not me, no American citizen, no duly elected member of our Congress, not the Supreme Court. Not the Supreme Court? Not the Supreme Court, not the Justice Department, not the CIA, DIA, FBI, ATF, ATE, NBC, not even G-O-D. How come the government isn't allowed inside its own building? Government? Ah, the Fed is a private bank owned by private stockholders. Do not let the name Federal fool you. This play is about as Federal as Federal Express. A, a, a private bank? But, but, a private? Shh. Best to keep your voice down, pal. This is Ethan, Federal Reserve. Hey, Ethan, Bill here, First National. Hi there, Bill. How are you? Good, good. We're running a little low on money. No problem. How much you need? Oh, how does 20 million sound? What? <coughs> Excellent. We'll ship it over first thing tomorrow. Wait, we, he can just call up the Fed and ask for more money and they give him whatever they want? No, pal. The Fed don't give the banks money. The Fed loans the banks money. The banks have to pay it back with interest. Wait, 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 wait. I, I still don't understand. Where does the Fed get their money? I mean, if they're a private bank. You said they're a private bank, right? Okay, so who puts money into the Fed bank? This is Mel, United States Mint. I am Mel. First National needs another 20 millies. We're already running the presses full steam here, Ethan. Gotta keep making loans. Gotta keep the money flowing. All right, you're the Fed. Whatever you guys say, 20 million more by morning. <laughs> but I don't get it. What's so wrong about the Fed printing money? Because it's unconstitutional, pie. 
Our treasury is supposed to create our money, but now the Fed controls the printing of America's money. Nobody gets a friggin' dollar that the Fed didn't print. So, they print the money, then they loan it to the government, then they charge the government interest, then the government taxes you to pay for it. Wake up, pal! God, I, I don't see what the big deal is. You know you're right, pal. Wait a minute. Wait, I am? Yeah. I forget how effective they are at keeping you ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. So. Funny cartoon, but a lot of good information in there. Right. Yeah. What a little it makes, web. It makes sense why the uh, why the math doesn't math. Yeah, Brenton. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just interest <laughs> upon interest. Yep. Just fake money being printed. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, it's just it one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. that's the thing about what I like about your segment, though, Greg, is that there's a lot of thought-provoking things that are brought up. It doesn't mean that every time you agree with them or we all agree, sometimes we do, sometimes we don't, but there yeah. are some things that we don't think about. Um, I always go back to the Titanic one. Like that was some things that when you hear about the Titanic, you think about, at least I do the movie with like Leo in it, you know? Yes. And then there was a lot of other things that were going on with these rich and powerful people on the, on this boat. And so I appreciate uh, this is, from the beginning, one of the new ideas mm -hmm. that we had since we very first started doing it that mm -hmm. I've really, really come to enjoy. So good, good deal. So, do you agree with that video, Greg? Um, I, I agree I'm about, that I'm about to share your address with the government. Just oh, okay, I, was, <laughs> I, I already know. <laughs> I I agree that there's a control factor there that has, everybody's being manipulated for sure. And that's why things come and go, you know, and a, uh, a currency throughout history, currencies rise and fall and they have mm -hmm. a lifespan. So, and they're manipulated by the people at the top. So I would say, I agree that there's something sketchy going on. I don't know if that, that video explains it the right way, but it makes you think. True. Cause I want people, I want people to question doesn't even mean if that's true or not. I just want people to question, to think on their own. That's all. Yeah, that's good. Right or wrong. Just yeah. think on your own. That's it. I'm Kayla. Please like and subscribe.